Microsoft warns Windows 11 users, deleting in-at pub folder disables critical security. Is Lyft recording your conversations? ChatGPT has a memory. It remembers what you asked it, even if you didn't ask it to remember. And finally, do dolphins have a real language? Maybe large language models can tell us. This is Hashtag Trending. I'm your host, Jim Love. Let's get into it. Microsoft has issued a warning to Windows 11 24H2 users regarding the deletion of a seemingly empty Inet Pub folder created by the April 25th cumulative update. Despite appearing redundant, this folder is essential for a security fix implemented in the update. Users who have removed it are advised to restore the folder to maintain system security. The Inet Pub folder, typically associated with Microsoft's Internet Information Services, or IIS web servers, was unexpectedly created on the system drive of many users, including those without IIS installed. Its empty state led some to believe it was unnecessary, prompting its deletion. However, Microsoft has clarified this folder is integral to a security patch applied during the April update. Removing the EPUB folder compromises the effectiveness of the recent security update, potentially leaving systems vulnerable. Microsoft emphasized the importance of this folder in maintaining the intended security posture of Windows 11 24H2. Now, those who have deleted the Inet Pub folder should take immediate steps to restore it. This can be achieved by reapplying the April 2025 cumulative update or manually recreating the folder. Best to check with Microsoft's instructions to find out exactly what they do, but ensuring the presence of this folder is crucial for the continued protection of your system. A recent incident in Toronto has raised significant privacy concerns after a Lyft passenger discovered that her private conversation during a ride was transcribed and sent to her phone. The event, which occurred in March, involved a woman who received a text message containing a transcript of her discussion with a friend during a Lyft ride. The message which was sent from an unfamiliar number, included a note stating, this is what you said in your lift ride. The woman expressed her alarm over the incident, stating, I was shocked and disturbed. It felt like a violation of my privacy. She reported the matter to Lyft, but the company has yet to provide a clear explanation. Lyft representatives have acknowledged the incident and are investigating the matter, emphasizing they do not have a feature that records or transcribes passenger conversations. Privacy experts have weighed in on the situation, highlighting the potential implications for user privacy in ride-sharing services. David Fraser, a privacy lawyer, noted, If this was an experiment or test by the company, it raises serious ethical and legal questions about consent and data protection. The Office of the Privacy Commissioner of Canada has been notified and is currently assessing the situation. They have urged any individuals who have experienced similar incidents to come forward and report them. The incident underscores the importance of transparency and consent in the use of technology that may impact user privacy. It also points out that sometimes we have conversations in places that we think are private, but really aren't. As investigations continue, passengers are advised to remain vigilant and report any suspicious activities to the appropriate authorities. And speaking of listening, what does your AI know about you, if it could remember? And it can. OpenAI announced that ChatGPT would be able to remember old conversations that you didn't ask it to save. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman said on X that the chatbot can now reference all your past conversations and that the update aligns with the company's goal to develop AI systems that get to know you over your life. It was first rolled out to those with the Prime $200 a month subscription. It has now appeared to the $20 a month subscription, at least in my chat GPT. And I wanted to get some idea of what it actually knew about me from our past interactions. So I asked it a couple of questions. Chat GPT, what do you know about me? You're a writer and podcaster. You have a keen interest in AI, cybersecurity, and the broader tech industry, often exploring complex topics with a focus on practical insights. You care about constructive feedback and continuous improvement. You're also not afraid to be direct when something doesn't meet your standards. 
Overall, you combine creativity, precision, and a commitment to quality in everything you do. If there's anything else you'd like to know or if you want to dive into a specific topic, just let me know. What is negative about me? From what I've observed, a few potential challenges might come up. Your high standards and attention to detail, while great for quality, could sometimes lead to frustration if things don't meet your expectations right away. This might make collaboration with others a bit more intense, especially if they don't share the same urgency or level of precision. Another point could be that your decisiveness and strong opinions might come off as a bit rigid or leave less room for flexibility. While this helps in maintaining high standards, it might also make it harder to compromise or adapt when needed. Ultimately, these traits are just the flip side of your commitment to excellence. If you ever want to chat more about this or explore ways to balance those traits, I'm here to help. And finally, do dolphins have a real language? Most studies to date would tell you no. While dolphins can learn symbols and appear to exchange different sounds, linguists would say they lack a large vocabulary, don't display a grammar or syntax, or any real abstract thought. But AI may give us a final and definitive answer on that. Google has introduced Dolphin Gemma, an AI model developed in collaboration with Georgia Tech and the Wild Dolphin Project, aiming to decode dolphin vocalizations and facilitate two-way communication between humans and dolphins. Dolphin Gemma is trained on decades of underwater audio and video data collected by the Wild Dolphin Project, focusing on the Atlantic spotted dolphins. The model identifies patterns in dolphin vocal sequences and can generate realistic dolphin-like sounds. Operating as an audio in, audio out system, it predicts subsequent dolphin sounds similarly to how language models predict the next word in human text. And the AI system is based on Google's lightweight Gemma models and utilizes sound stream for audio representation. With approximately 400 million parameters, Dolphin Gemma is compact enough to run on Pixel phones used in field research. The advancement could revolutionize our understanding of dolphin communication, providing insights into their social behaviors and potentially enabling interactive exchanges between humans and dolphins. By identifying recurring sound patterns and sequences, researchers hope to uncover hidden structures and meanings within dolphin vocalizations. Google plans to release Dolphin Gemma as an open model this summer, allowing researchers worldwide to adapt it for study of other cetacean species. Fine tuning will be necessary for species with different vocal patterns, but the open source nature of the model facilitates adaptations. So a large language model may provide the key to a small and compact language system. And if we do find a way to decipher a more complex language, I'm betting the first deciphered sentence will be, what's taking you so long? That's our show for today. I'm your host, Jim Love. Have a terrific Tuesday.